Okay, a little bit of trial and error goes a long ways. So I'm gonna to try to do this in two or three parts, but I wanna to explain to you guys how, because there's, the videos suck, how this Xcoy weight and balance machine works. I wanna show you how to set it up in layman's terms. I'm gonna to explain to you how to make this thing work for you in layman's terms because it just, everything I was finding was unbelievable. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do, this is what I did, is I drew a CG line on my table. You can see it, CG right down underneath the, underneath the shock absorber. That's my CG line. Then I made me a 90 degree piece of balsa that went up. Now you can use a plumb bob, whatever you want to do. I just find this is quick and easy. It goes up to my balance point, which is marked on the wing. And if you look sideways, it's pretty well lined up with that pin line. So that is basically four and a quarter inches back, 27% of the wing cord. Now this airplane flies and it flies great, but I wanted to just put it on the balancer, show you guys how I set this up and it might help you, okay? Now, that uh, your first measurement is you have to get it on the CG. This is where we start. The CG is where we start. Then you have to figure out from your CG to your mains in millimeters, which is 105. Then you have to figure from your mains to your tail. Tail is basically square right there, straight up to the scale. That's why I did it. From the mains to the tail is 1,282 millimeters. Now, we're gonna to go to the computer. I've already, I've already uh, cleared this out, and um, that tear means clear it out, so it goes to zero. Now, it will bounce around a little bit like this, but don't worry about it, it's not that big of a deal, okay? The airplane weighs 16.66 pounds, all right? Now, we're gonna get out of this, use a little pin or whatever, and we're gonna to go to select model. All right, the first thing, this is the beaver I just did. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna, to, uh, tail dragger is bicycle. Weird, I know. But tail dragger is bicycle, of course, nose wheel is tricycle, okay? And you're gonna um, edit, and you're gonna enter the distance from the front mains. Okay, so it's fronts to the mains. So that means tails to the mains, which we already know was 1282. So we're gonna delete, 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 and we're gonna put 12, one, the one's already in, 282. So 1282 is right here, 1282 is right there. That's the first measurement there, and you enter it, okay? now. Distance from mains to CG, which we know is 105. So we're gonna edit, and we're gonna delete that number, and we're gonna put in 105, enter. Now this last deal here really doesn't mean too much. And it seems to me that every time I do something, I gotta click edit and I gotta go back to bicycle and I gotta save it. So now everything's saved. If I really wanted to get technical, I could put, let's just go edit and I'll, I'll add 30 to that. So let's go 135, because that means I'd have to add some nose weight. So, delete 135, which means it's only, it's, from here to here it's 105, so probably right about there is where I'm gonna put the, the, the nose weight if I need any kind of weight on this at all, okay? Then I'm gonna hit enter. Now all my numbers are in it. Everything's good, 1282 is the distance from the tail wheel to the mains, 105 is from the mains to the CG, 135 is where I'm gonna put the weight, and hit bicycle again, save it, X out of that, and hit CG. Now, it shows that I'm nose heavy. This airplane flies absolutely fantastic. It's, it shows nose heavy, but there's no arrows. Now, if you were tail heavy, 
you would see a red arrow gaining on the tail. I am pushing on the tail with my finger. And it says that you need to add eight pounds in order to correct that. But if you let it go, the arrow gets smaller. And that means that you're in balance, okay? It is really a great machine, but the instructions online suck, so I hope this helped. Um, you can also do floats with this, and it's just a little bit more involved setup. I'll be more than happy to explain how I did that. I cut me some rubber pads. So the rubber pads go underneath on top of this, the scale. Let me see if I can just lift this up in front of you. And those pads sit on the fuselage because most of the time a um, um, float plane doesn't have a tail wheel. You know, you got, you, you got fins or whatever. Some, some have like, you know, th that beaver doesn't have a tail wheel. That beaver doesn't have a tail wheel. So I needed something that would sit right underneath there. So that was the reason why I put these pads here. Now the same, the pads up front because you put them on front and now the float can sit on that pad. It doesn't have to have a, an indent. And if you did that, your float would only ride on that side and this side, the rest of it would be open and it would start cutting your floats. So cut a piece of rubber and use these wire, these discs for that there. Now, put these on when you're getting ready to do a float plane and hit tar on that machine. That will, that will zero everything out, including with this. Folks, I really hope that helped you understand how this thing works because the instructions basically suck. And so I wanted to let you know what I thought of it, but I love this machine. It is worth every penny. I balance my airplane that fast. If, if I come up and my airplane is nose heavy, let's say we set the tape measure up here. I'm gonna set that right there. And that's because you put all the batteries in front and everything's all loaded up and you throw it on the balancer and it shows it's nose heavy. You gotta remove 1.18 pounds at the correction point, which means it's right on the front. Is that not slick or what? I sure hope that helped you guys. If the, For the guys who have this machine and are not really sure what's going on, this is about the sixth time I've used this and I absolutely love it. You remove the nose weight, you come back over. If it was a battery, and you move the battery further back a little bit, come back and check, all right, I'm good. Because it'll hold that as long as you're dancing around. I'm putting tail weight on. I, um, now it's removing it. I just, this thing really works good. I hope that helped you. And I hope that this video explains this just a little bit better than what you can find online. From a redneck, from Rod at the shop of uh, Mini Aircraft. <laughs> I hope that helped you. And if you don't have one of these, I am not an endorser of any products. I don't get sponsored. I don't do anything. I've wanted one of these a long time. And let me tell you something. They're worth every penny. Every penny. So there you go.